The Clippers have never advanced beyond the second round of the NBA playoffs. After a Game 5 loss to the Jazz, they'll be lucky this time around to make it beyond the first. With Brad Turner and Bill Plaschke, I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. Bill, we asked after Game 1 if this was the same old Clippers. Game 5, it looked like the same old Clippers. Yeah, and it's not going to be the same old Clippers for long, Lindsay. As I wrote in my story, if this is not the end, you can see it from here. This series is virtually done. 82% of the time, a team that loses game five in a deadlock series will lose that series. This is not only the end of the season. It's the end of a Clipper era. This team will be broken up in the offseason. So, yeah, tonight was very discouraging, the way they lost, the way they were out-hustled, the way – I know they missed Blake Griffin. They had four second-chance points tonight, mm -hmm. four in a desperation game. They did. They missed Blake Griffin. He's on the bench. Questions of whether or not that'll be his last appearance in Staples for the Clippers, Brad. But let's talk about game six for a moment. Do you think the Clippers have anything to muster inside to go to Salt Lake City on Friday and try to win that game? If they don't, he won't be back here playing the game seven. We'll be doing Answer last the game. question, BT. Well, they have some, but not enough. Yeah. I think Utah is so hungry right now. And they know they have matchups the Clippers cannot deal with and continue with. So I say it's over on Friday night in Salt Lake City. You guys called it in six games, a Clippers win. Bill, where do you think this really went wrong for the Clippers? Obviously, the Blake Griffin injury doesn't help. But is this team, what's the, what's the X factor that causes them to just lose games? It's, tr it's trust. They don't trust each other. They still don't play well together down the stretch. And the two biggest plays tonight, and Doc talked about it, and it was clear, were offensive rebounds by the Jazz. Mm -hmm. The Clippers, the, the Jazz missed two shots. The Clippers had a chance for this glorious late run. Both times, Gordon Hayward jumped out out of the gym and knocked the ball back to his teammates. Joe Johnson hit a three-pointer, and Gordon can, uh, you know, made two free throws the other time. That's, that's hustle. You can't blame that on Blake. It's just the team in the wrong position, a team not knowing where everybody's going to be, mm -hmm. a team that doesn't trust each other. They've never, for six years, BT, they never trusted each other. Bill, what you just said is what we saw all season long. They were 14-2 at the beginning of the season. The team we watched tonight has been the team that lost to teams like Sacramento Kings, lost to Dallas Brooklyn. Mavericks. They lost to Dallas Mavericks. They've lost to some, some really bad games, and tonight they lost to a really good team. But the ebb and flow of the game, playing high, playing low, not effort, not getting rebounds, that's who they became, and that's who they are, this team that is not consistent. Brad, tonight at Staples, is this the last time these fans – will have seen this Clippers team play? Plaschke says no. I'm not asking Plaschke, I'm asking yeah. you. Well, you said this team played together as a group? Yes. I said they still come back. I think this is a team that would be like on that eventual wheel. Like You think they come back next season or you come back for a oh, game next, seven? Oh, next season. Not not for game seven here. I think they'd be back. I think the same group is back for, no for another season. No, no way the same group. No, I can't see management stomaching watching this. I've watched it for well, six about, years. You watch it for six years. Plaschke. I can't watch it no more. Who, who is management? Is the coach going to fire the GM? Because no. the, G, the GM is the coach. At some point, Steve, the point, some point owner Steve Ballmer's got to say, you know what, it ain't working. Let's get rid of Blake Griffin, bring in Carmelo Anthony. I mean, let Blake walk, <laughs> bring in Carmelo Anthony, so you bring in a shooter, change it up, do something. And it's interesting, the players tonight talked about, and, and, and you remember, BT and I, you were there two years ago, San Antonio. They lost game five against San Antonio. They had to go down there and win. They did, came back here and won game seven in the greatest victory in Clipper history. This is a different team. They don't have that light in their eyes. They don't have Blake Griffin. This is not happening. Yeah, Steve Ballmer definitely didn't have a light in his no. eyes. It's sitting on the baseline. He he did dance a few times, but by the end of the game, he looked downright sad. The Clippers are going to have to turn it around very quickly. They go to Salt Lake City game six in Utah. These guys called the series in six games for the Clippers. I think it's uh, going to be the Jazz in six. You guys are never right. All right, be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times to continue uh, cover as we continue to cover the Clippers in the NBA playoffs. Probably just one more game, unless we all get lucky and treated to one more game here back at Staples Center. We're with Bill and Brad. I'm Lindsay for the LA Times.